Hey there, this is a quick video to show you how to make your own ceramic space heater. Just the element and a computer case fan. Put them together and it cranks out the heat. Right now these wires are just going straight to a solar panel from both the fan and the element, both 12 volt. That's literally all you need right there. Just the fan and the element. You can see where the fan and the element's connected. Then you just put it together like that and it's blasting through. But remember, don't touch that. That is super hot. Things cranking, holds tinsel straight out, I'll show you that in a second. Plus air temps getting into the 130 to 140 Fahrenheit range, way over 50 Celsius. That only took one minute to get there from 78 to well over 120 now, over 50 Celsius. All right, and there it is after one and a half minutes. You can only leave your hand there for about 10 seconds. It's that hot. This thing could not be working better. It's working awesome. Just for the record, there's the panel. Wires come in the door, up to there, and both the fan and the element are running off that. Again, it's just a 70 watt element and a two watt fan roughly, so 72 watts, 100 water easily covers it. I was gonna say that the air coming out of there is about the same speed and heat level as if you're sitting in your car and you got the heat blowing on you at about medium high to high speed but actually that's not what it is it's probably twice as hot as that the speeds about that but it's like twice as hot all right that's it been off like 20 seconds fans not even warm stay totally cool this too hot to touch be careful with that for a few minutes There's your max temps. A little over 100 Celsius. Again, as far as where to get this stuff, I got that 70 watt 12 volt element on Amazon for six bucks. No tax, free shipping, got two of them. And I've had the computer case fan for a while, but those are just like three to five bucks. So for around $10, you got an off-grid 12-volt DC, solar panel slash battery-powered air heater. And this thing's really cranking. It's putting out furnace temps, 130, 140 Fahrenheit, well over 50, 50, 60 Celsius. Surface temps with the fan running are getting over 105 Celsius or 220 Fahrenheit. Without the fan, it's like 400, so be careful. It gets hot in like three or four seconds when you turn it on. And that's it. Now all I gotta do is clean up the wires. Again, as far as hooking it up, they're both 12 volts, so it's a direct connect to either a battery or a solar panel for both the fan and the element. And that's all there is to it. 
In this case, I always stick with the 12 volters. They do have, I think, 24, 36, 48, and 60 volt in the DC options. And these things come in long, thin, like rectangles or big squares. So if you got like a 120 millimeter fan or even bigger, just buy a bigger one, put them together, and fire it up.